Hi everyone, Adrian Kelly here from Goal Zero. We just thought we'd take a short time out to show you a quick tour of the Goal Zero vehicle so you can see how we power our lives on and off road for work or play. So welcome to the top of the Goal Zero truck. On top here, we've got the Boulder 90 solar panels, which we developed exclusively for TJM. Uh, these panels form the collect phase of Goal Zero's collect, store and use philosophy. And so here we have 90 watt solar panels uh, connected in parallel, giving us a total of 180 watts. In, um, in other terms, you know, you're know, you looking around about 12 to 13 amps per hour in full sunlight from these babies. Um, they've got an anodized aluminium frame and a tempered glass front, so the panels themselves are extremely rugged, so we don't have to worry about hailstones or stone chips and things like that. Um, again, solar panels aren't as delicate as what they used to be. Uh, we've got a very, very unique mounting system that's included with the solar panels, so that they can be mounted to the top of caravans, the top of canopies like we've done here. Um, and we even have um, some kits that will allow us to convert these to your traditional style camping panel, so you can fold in half and, and stow away. Uh, the solar panels are completely waterproof, so we don't have to worry about those. All the connectors are IP68 rated, um, which again makes it handy for installations on the outside of vehicles in all conditions. And other than that, the uh, performance that we're seeing from these solar panels um, might be technically 180 watts here, but we've actually got as high as 220 watts of actual power out of these panels. So that's pumping up around about 15 amps. So great set of panels. And um, we'll now move on to the store phase and we'll have a look at the Yeti 1250 solar generator. So here we are down in the, at the back of the, uh, the Goal Zero truck and we're here with the uh, Yeti 1250. So this is the storage phase or the store phase of Goal Zero's collect, store and use. Um, what we've got here is the Yeti 1250 solar generator. It consists of 100 amp hour storage capacity and that's done with an AGM battery. We've got a 1200 watt pure sine wave inverter. So this is just like the same power you get out of the wall at home. And we've got two power points here. Um, so off this, we can run things like um, power tools, anything up to 1200 watts. Uh, power goes out at home, you can plug your household refrigerator into it even. So again, gives you some real usable power that um, you can use in times of either emergency or if you want to take those little luxuries camping or something like that, you know, you've got that capability now. We've also got built-in USB ports here at the front of the unit. So with those USB ports, we can charge things like our phones and our GoPros and GPSs, um, iPads, all those sort of things. So a little bit of, little bit of luxury there for the entertainment. Um, we've got our 12 volt section here where we can run our, like we're running here, we're currently running a Waco CFX 50 fridge. Um, we can also run our, our 12 volt lighting so any of our camp lighting kits and all that sort of stuff can easily be run off the, uh, off the Yeti solar generator. And then one of the, probably the unique things about the Yeti solar generator as compared to any other item out there roughly like it, is that we do actually have a 30 amp 12 volt output on the generator itself. So this allows us to either one, if we integrate the unit into a caravan or a camper trailer or something like that, we can actually run extra 10 amp circuits around that to have permanent fixed power so the Yeti solar generator can be integrated into whatever your camping solution is as well. Um, so from the solar panels that we saw before, um, these come into the input section of the Yeti solar generator. Um, this gives us the capability to either one, adapt other solar panels to the Yeti, or again, we can easily accept both the Goal Zero the Nomad series, Boulder series of solar panels to the unit. In the top of the unit here, we've got a little wall charger, so for trickle charging. So when you're not using your Yeti out on your trips, what you can do is you can leave it parked in the garage at home, plugged into the wall, it will then recharge itself, stay on float charge, and then in the event that the power goes out at home, you've always got a power source ready to go. One of the other great capabilities of the Yeti 1250 solar generator is its ability to connect into existing dual battery systems or as itself act as a dual battery system. So here what we're demonstrating is we've got the Yeti 1250 obviously being charged from the solar panels that are up on the roof. But 
we've shown its capability now to connect in parallel to a second battery. So here we've got another 100 amp hour AGM battery, meaning that our solar panels are now charging a 200 amp hour storage capacity. So you could think of this battery here as either an existing auxiliary battery. So if you already have a dual battery system in your car and you want that extra storage capacity plus the huge benefits that the that the Goal Zero Yeti 1250 brings with its you know, big inverter, its, its solar recharging capability, um, the USB ports, uh, the 12 volt options that it gives you, well then this is how you would connect it. So again, you can still have your DC-DC charger that you may have for your existing battery. So this would be your existing auxiliary battery and we just connect the Yeti in parallel. One of the other things you can do is imagine if this wasn't even here and this was actually your auxiliary battery. So this is the Yeti itself acting as your auxiliary battery. One of the other things that we can do as well, especially with camper trailers and caravans, is also imagine these are the batteries that are inside your camper trailer and or your caravan. What it means is that your car is charging through typically an Anderson connector on the rear of the vehicle, straight through to your camper trailer or your caravan, and it comes into the Yeti system as well. So again, the Yeti is very versatile in the fact that it can be used as a dual battery system, it can be used in conjunction with the dual battery system, and it can be also used as a primary power source in your other recreational vehicle, such as your camper trailer or your caravan. One of the other great things uh, about, about this setup is it's a removable power source. One of the big issues that we've seen with um, standard dual battery systems is that everything that you have and you want to power is tied to your vehicle. With the Yeti 1250, we can simply undo the straps, disconnect it from any power source, whether that is the DC-DC charger or it is your existing auxiliary battery system. We can disconnect it and means we've got 100 amp hours of power that we can put down on the ground, remove our fridge from the vehicle as well and any other things that we're powering and then we can take our four-wheel drives and we can go off and have a play. So here we have one of the, the new pieces of kit that we've, we've bought out to complement the Yeti 1250 system and that's our AC to DC charger. The AC to DC charger that we have is a 30 amp charger, so it will recharge the Yeti 1250 in about just under four hours. We've implemented this, this system as part, of a, as, as part of a complete system or complete solution so that uh, if we're having bad weather for, you know, a five or six days on end, or um, for us in particular, being a goal zero as, as, a, as a show vehicle that goes to all the, all the four wheel driving shows, is that sometimes we're indoors. So we don't always have the luxury of, um, of getting to the sun. So what we can do is we can plug in and then recharge the Yeti again in just under, just under four hours. So a great little addition uh, to think about as part of an overall solution when you're looking at solar powering your life. So there you go guys. A little quick tour of the Goal Zero truck just shows you how we do it, how you can do it. Um, if you need any information or anything on how on what we've done, um, the technical nitty gritty of it all, please don't hesitate to give us a call at Goal Zero because um, we can we can also make this happen for you. So again, thanks very much for your time, and hopefully we'll see you out there living the solar life sometime. Cheers.